Hey guys, welcome back. Hobby Table Collector's Home. So, in one of my past videos, I mentioned uh, for one of our subscription boxes, the uh, BAM box, that that was our last one, and we're moving on to something else. Well, we picked up another subscription box from another company, from uh, Zobi Productions, and that's uh, shopzobi.com, and they also have a subscription box that they they've just recently I'm not sure how long they've had it but I know they've had in the past boxes you can get but they weren't subscription boxes but they now have one um, it's actually a bi-monthly as opposed to monthly and it's about the same price there's this uh, $40 now that's for a one-time purchase or you can subscribe by monthly say $5 and it'd be $35 which is the same price as the BAM one but it's bi-monthly as opposed to monthly so one thing I do like right now, there is, is in the box, if you saw from our last video on the band box, theirs are now in the envelope, and wasn't too keen on that because that just increases the possibility of damages. So there's a still, these guys are in a box. So again, this also has different genres or different themes, different uh, franchises, call them what you will. This one had Beverly Hills Ninja, Joe Dirt, Animal House and Problem Child. Now this does include an autograph. Um, past boxes, the way theirs usually go, you have the autograph, you have like a shirt, because they did ask for a size, so there's probably a shirt in it, an enamel pin, and usually like a, a, a prop or something of that nature. So, we're going to dig into here. And right off, yes, there is a shirt. Uh, and that's from the Animal House. And let's see, and it is the Gildan brand, and I do like to mention brands because I am familiar with this brand of t-shirt, and they do have a good quality, meaning they last. The uh, picture and everything doesn't fade or fall off like a lot of them ever do. So that's item one, the shirt, and here is the pin, and that is from Problem Child. Sorry, I forgot what side the camera's on. Now, one of the differences between this and, let's say, like the BAM box is their pins are a little bit of a quality. You can see they are a little bit bigger. The quality is a little more sharper, detailed. It's a good size. And Zobi also likes to number all their pins. At least they used to. It's been a while since I've gotten one of their boxes. But, uh, yep. It's number 154 of 300. Whereas the um, BAM, they only... Uh, number certain ones because they have different variances so that's the problem child and the prop item is from Beverly Hills Ninja and that is the medallion that he had now I would like to see this actually on a chain because if you remember in the movie it was actual uh, worn medallion hey that's still pretty cool and it's a good good solid quality so that leaves the autograph to go into Joe Dirt and this is uh, Brittany Daniel. So she played Brandy in the movie Joe Dirt. And it is JSA authenticated. JSA does have the card. JSA. So, and I do know from experience, JSA run, usually runs about $20 to get that. So that if the box is 35, that means 20 is going into this and 15 into the autograph medallion, the pin, and the shirt. And I do know just if you buy shirts, just go to your local store, they can run up to about $12, $13, $15, possibly more, just for a shirt. So the money is here, just like all the others in their boxes, and that's well worth it. Uh, that's Joe Dirt, main character in there. So that is the Zobies bi-monthly subscription box now this is the uh, pop culture one again they do have some other uh, genres available horror uh, game metal they, they sell out quick so do you have to go and watch and see how often they come up and, and subscribe to it uh, you can get a one-time purchase or get the uh, subscription where they just bill you bi-monthly and save you five bucks not bad like i said all this like i said these alone if you're into autograph collecting it's well worth it because just this alone is is within the price but like i said they do also have a monthly one where it is just this and i think that runs like 30 bucks so why not pay five bucks more and get all the other stuff hey of course you won't get it monthly you just can buy monthly but still save a little bit still get that same autograph and everything 
and plus a lot more. So I would go this route if you're a collector. You just got to do it every other month, it's, it, which isn't too bad. So that's what we have here for the Zobi uh, monthly, bi-monthly subscription box. Well worth it in our opinion, yes. Like I said, good quality, good authentication. Shipping is good because we always look at the shipping. Things come in top loaders. Now, one if you were watching, we stopped the BAM box, and I guess it was a good thing because they started shipping them in envelopes instead of the boxes. So I guess they're becoming a BAM envelope, and we had damage to that. So these boxes will protect everything, and here is the just, just a little cheat sheet. They had two different variances of the pen. They had different variants of the autograph. And here's a shirt. And again, 35, 40 if you just buy it one time. Hey, so that's what we have on this. I just want to give you a lowdown on what the BAM box, bi monthly subscription box was, what's in it, is it worth it? Oh, yeah, we always think so. We think so. I mean, anything from BAM is always, is, from Zobi is well worth it. So anything from them. Oh, and don't forget, uh, up until September 16th, we have summer code 20 that is on our merchandise at the site and that is 20% off including um, all the uh, quality control or scratch and dent items which are already marked down that we get an additional 20% off there so go to the site I'll have it down there in the description and check that out again that ends September 16th we're just trying to move out some uh, inventory we've had for a while and we're just trying to get we're trying to get it out because I have a lot of inventory that I'm going to be uploading and getting new stuff in there. So do check that out. That ends coming up here soon. So thanks a lot, guys. And until next time, happy collecting and safe collecting. If you know of a business that you're curious about and would like us to check out, or if you have a business that you know of is really good and like to pass the word on, send it to us at info at thehobbytable.com. Again, that's info at thehobbytable.com.